Right. We are delighted to have the presidential candidate and independent senator from Vermont, Bernie Sanders, is with us, as he has been many times on our show, never under such circumstances. Uh, Bernie, you are a guy who has uh, seen a lot of things. Where do you place this crisis uh, in American history? Never in my lifetime, Bill. Uh, what we're looking at now is absolutely unprecedented. You know, we're looking at a pandemic, the likes of which we have not seen in 100 years. We're looking at an economic collapse that may may end up being worse than the Great Depression, uh, with 30, 40 million people uh, becoming unemployed in the next number of months. So it's unprecedented uh, in our lifetimes, that's for sure. And what would you do right now if you were the president? Uh, this is exactly what I would do. The main point is that we have to prevent a breakdown in the entire system. That's how dangerous it is right now. It is much easier to maintain the system than to fix it after it is broken. What does that mean? From an economic point of view, it means that we tell every worker in America, you will continue to get your paycheck. We know you're not working. We know you're at home. You know your business that you're working for is not functioning. But guess what? We're going to do what the UK is doing, what Denmark is doing, what Norway is doing, what France is doing. You will continue to receive 100% of your paycheck. Number two, what we have got to do is guarantee that all people in America during the crisis get the health care they need without out-of-pocket expense. It is pretty crazy to say to people, as the last stimulus package did, that you can get your coronavirus test, government pays for that, but if you're sick and go to the hospital, you have to pay for that out of your own pocket. Uh, number three, what we have to do is protect our healthcare system right now. We need to use the Defense Production Act to tell the private sector who will be well compensated, they must produce the masks, the gowns, the gloves, the ventilators that the healthcare system requires. Also, if we're ever going to get back to normal, we're going to need a new level of testing that we have never seen before. And I think we can do it, but we have to invest in it so that it says to Bill Maher, Bill, you have been tested right now instantaneously. You are not spreading the virus. You are not going to be susceptible to the virus. You can go into a work environment with other people who are clean as well. So we need to invest very heavily uh, in testing. Uh, we also need to provide substantial help to federal, to state and local governments because they are running out of money. We have helped them in the last stimulus package. We've got to do more in the next stimulus package, which we are working on right now, because if the cops are not being paid, the AMT people are not being paid. Uh, you're going to have a breakdown uh, in the system. Uh, and we have also got to uh, protect uh, working families all over this country who cannot afford right now to pay their rent, uh, their mortgages, their student loans, uh, their auto loans and so forth, and put a freeze on uh, those type of payments. So bottom line is, Bill, in my view, we are in an unprecedented moment in American history. We have got to act in an unprecedented way. And I am working with other senators and members of Congress on what will be an unprecedented piece of legislation to try to save this country in such a difficult moment. Okay, I mean, you mentioned um, getting 100% of your paycheck. Um, the criticism of you has often been that you are promising money that the government could not possibly come up with. Uh, how long can the government do that? Uh, how can we just keep printing money? Isn't that a recipe for economic disaster down the road?